A transformer's primary coil has a power of 180 watts and a voltage of 60 volts. The ratio of turns in the secondary coil to turns in the primary coil is 20 to 1. Calculate the voltage of the secondary coil. So what are we doing in the last question? That's right, relating the ratio of turns to the ratio of voltages. So this should be fairly straightforward. We can use this equation for the uh, secondary voltage, which will turn out, of course, to be just 20 times the voltage of the primary coil. And that'll give us 1,200 volts. The voltage of the primary coil is, of course, given to us in the question. Find the current in the secondary coil. Now, assuming that we have a perfect transformer, the power of the secondary coil will be the same as the power of the primary coil, 180 watts. So, in order to find the current in the secondary coil, we can use our equation, uh, current equals power on voltage, uh, and then just substitute in the numbers, right? 180 watts for the power, and 1,200 volts for the voltage. This will give us 180 over 1,200, or 0.15 amperes. We can see that when we have a very large voltage, we'll end up with a much smaller current uh, than if we have a lower voltage. If you were to calculate the current in the primary coil, it would be 180 divided by 60, which is, of course, 3. And obviously, 0.15 is much, much smaller than 3 by a factor of 20.